What's going on, guys? 2019, it's almost upon us. So you know what that means? We are that much closer to the apocalypse. Oh, and there is a full year of brand new movies about to drop. And we have a very cool panel of movie minds to break it down with. Let's meet the panel. Directly to my left, she is the editor-in-chief of Fandom and Screen Junkies, what? Roth Cornette. Hi. Yeah! This gentleman, you can see him hosting movie review talk on Collider, and of course, you can see him at the dinner table with me every night. He's my biological father, Scott Mann. So yeah. proud, Hal! Yeah. So proud to be back here on Screen Junkies talking. 2019 movies with this lovely panel. And uh, we have the wonderful and delightful uh, from FX Movie Download and from all over the internet, Sasha Pearl Raver. I am so excited to talk to 2019. We have some movies that I am dying for. Oh, yeah. We're going to get pumped. So I'll just throw some out there and like let's just jump on them like, uh, like dogs on meat and talk about like, them. Like, what yes. else? <laughs> ah. Captain Marvel. Captain oh, Marvel. Marvel. I'm not going to fight your war. I'm gonna end it. That trailer looks great. You know, we're now going into the 11th year of the MCU. Yes. And all along the way, Marvel's been breaking ground, but they were behind the lines from DC with launching a standalone superhero movie featuring a female superhero. True story, Wonder because Woman came first. Certainly they're riding on the success, the proven success <laughs> yeah. of Wonder Woman. But Captain Marvel is also an incredibly important character. Mm -hmm. They're setting her up to be this very, very empowered character that's going to, I would imagine, come in in Avengers Endgame and play a massive role. He wiped out 50% of all living creatures. Endgame is really the culmination yeah. of what Kevin Feige had in mind when he created this United Universe that only he's been able to create cinematically. And we're about to see this huge explosive end that is somehow gonna reset enough to have this man bring in the X-Men in a couple of years. Speaking of Infinity War, let's move to Infinity and Beyond, Toy Story 4. Oh, Toy Story 4. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I've heard! You can't go to infinity, <laughs> dummy. It's, it's impossible. Toy Story 3, it was so complete. Those three movies, they yeah. are all yeah. equally brilliant this masterpiece movies. This but that true. was how I felt about Toy Story 1. Toy Story 1 for me was so, like, such an in, entire journey. I didn't need anything else. But every time I've gotten another Toy Story movie, it has been another gift that yeah. I did not anticipate yeah. and I've been so grateful for. We've come home. Uh, we've gone into the Spider-Verse. Now Spider-Man is far from home. Mysterio mm -hmm. is a great villain and it's going to be played by Jake Gyllenhaal. Who I love. Homecoming was still him kind of in that mentee-mentor relationship with Tony Stark. Yes. This is going to be him Spider-Man Spider-Manning off on an adventure. Let's go to a galaxy far, far away for Star Wars Episode Nine. Is it just me or does anybody have a little bit of a weird taste in their mouth after all of the, just like this crazy, stupid controversy around Big Bad Taste uh, Last Jedi. Not yeah. just because of oh, Last Jedi. I know you're, Jedi. you're a little bit of a Jedi hater, right? Uh, uh, I did not like Last. The Last Jedi. Mm -hmm. While critics liked The Last Jedi, yeah. half the fans did not like it. There was a disturbance in the Force, mm -hmm. and people had very, very mixed feelings about yeah. The Last Jedi. Like, the fandom itself was that broken lightsaber. Um, mm -hmm. But Ryan Johnson and J.J. Abrams could absolutely not be more different as filmmakers. Yeah. Good point. Ryan Johnson is a filmmaker that in every movie he does, he takes a genre and he turns it on his head and he plays with it. J.J. Abrams is very much the opposite of that. He plays directly into tropes. Yes. Yes. I think The Last Jedi is an amazing Ryan Johnson film and not a great Star Wars film. Big hit from last year, coming back in 2019, It. Chapter, Chapter two. two. Um, so rumor and conjecture is yes. that, that this film may actually address some of the weirder elements of the book. And everyone talks about this, like the easy part is when they're kids. That's the story that's kind of worked in the miniseries much better than when they were adults. Yeah. This is the hard part, but you have this amazing cast, and I feel like if they are really willing to get as weird as they possibly could get with this, I can't not watch. I just want to be scared. Because I wasn't scared. Oh, I'll I enjoyed scare you, it. Sir. It was fun. <laughs> I just wasn't scared. I thought it was okay. But hey, I am in the minority. It takes a lot to scare that. Scott Mance. Apparently. It does uh, take a lot to well, scare Well, let's go from one supposedly scary clown to another, uh, the Joker. I am extremely apprehensive about this. Extremely. Why? Joaquin Phoenix is like the Joker without the makeup. Right. I don't know that I need him in this part. Like, I really don't. I'm okay. really apprehensive. The weirder this gets, the more excited I am. Why, so this is, why like, is it weird for you? It's directed by Todd Phillips. That's what's making me so apprehensive. And, and the, the guy who directed the Hangover movies. Okay, this is what I wanted to say. 
because he's coming from such a broadly comedic background, but yeah. this is very dark material. But I'm trying to think of somebody who's done that. to make some weird magic. It could be weird magic. It absolutely could. And Joaquin Phoenix is phenomenally talented. Oh, yeah. I feel like he's going to bring something different, and I think he's going to surprise all of us. Sasha, I know yes. there's one movie you're definitely excited about. Dying for. Yes. Oh, my Keanu. God. <laughs> yeah. You guys. John Wick 3. John, John Wick 3. Three. John, John Wick 3. Three. John Wick has delivered headshot after <laughs> headshot every time. Oh, yeah. This movie <laughs> is going to be so fantastic. We've got everything we've loved from the previous movies, but now not only do we have Lawrence Fishburne coming back, the fact that we get... Neo back together Neo. with Morpheus, but we also have the inclusion of somebody called the director, and the director is played by Angelica M. F. Houston. What? Wow. What? This is going to be so good, it's so good. I can't wait. Uh, Mance, you—I uh, know a movie that you uh, were interested in talking about was uh, the second installment of the Lego. Oh, movie. the Lego Movie We've Part Two. Other... You've got to stop pretending everything is awesome. It isn't. Yeah, I get it. Look, a shooting star, make a win. The first Lego movie was so brilliant. Now, Phil Lord and Chris Miller are producing this time. They're not directing. Yeah. But they did produce Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Mm -hmm. That was great. So they're a lot more than producers, I get the feeling. Like, they're really, really, really super hands-on. I absolutely agree. I've been so delighted by what the Lego movies have had to offer. Yeah. Way exceeding expectations. So. You know that the animation is great. Yeah. Uh, they, they zip by. They're fun. And in fact, the Lego movie did a much better job at mixing together IPs <laughs> than Ready Player One did. Roth, do you want to talk a little Shyamalan? Let's talk about the Shyamalan. Oh, oh yes. Yes. Okay. The three of you think you have extraordinary gifts, like something out of a comic book. My favorite M. Night Shyamalan movie uh, is, in fact, Unbreakable. And so that was also the movie over the years that I found that most people would get really excited about the idea about <laughs> a sequel for. I have such a curiosity because this is either where we, we solidify the fact that he's back or it all falls apart. Again. And when, yeah. Again, and that it's this idea, it's a fascinating because it's this idea where the more he gets, when he has something to prove, he really rises to the occasion. And then maybe there's just this self-defeating part of him yeah. that when he doesn't, when he's on top, it all falls apart. I think it's gonna be good. I'm excited for it. Uh, okay, is it animated? Is it live action? I don't know, but The Lion King is coming out. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. This movie? looks so unoriginal, like phenomenally unoriginal. It is exactly what we have seen. I love the animated version. <laughs> yeah. but this time, it's everything I love with more computers, more money, and mother uh, and Beyonce here for it. Cannot wait, <laughs> cannot wait. What? It is gonna be so dumb, but at the same time, thoroughly enjoyable. Yeah, right. is, it right. gonna be okay. a, is it gonna be a good two hours? Well, yes! it's directed by John Favreau, right. who did the sort of the uh, CGI Book. version of yeah. an animated classic, yeah. Jungle Book. Should I sort of say into my film? Yeah, do it. talk about because it is a perfect Aladdin. <laughs> Aladdin makes me incredibly nervous because you are missing the most important part of Aladdin. Well, which is Robin, Robin Williams. Williams. But here's why, here's why, Sasha Pilraver, I put Aladdin on my list. Yes. <laughs> because of Will Smith. Will Smith. That's what? No, I'm thinking Men of- Men in Black 3, Will I'm, Smith? I'm thinking of just like, like What's Will Smith. What's the thing he did with his son when, that's terrible? After, after, uh, wait a minute, after after wait, wait a minute, Smith? wait a minute. I just feel like, this movie could, could be the resurgence, the reinvention for Will Smith. I think this could be oh. his best performance in years. We, we talked a little bit of Marvel earlier. We talked about the Joker. Uh, DC has another hero that a lot of people are excited about. Big Ooh. trailer uh, lit up the internet. Shazam. Shazam. Yeah. Sorry about your window, but night. you're welcome for not getting robbed. Oh, hey, what's up? I'm a superhero. It is joyful, it is light, it is big with superheroes, it is Zachary Levi clearly having a ton of fun with this movie. Yeah. This looks delightful. Doesn't it? It, it looks, looks really so delightful. Charming. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, speaking of something else that looks delightful and might um, tug at the old heartstrings, there's another Disney film. And, oh gosh, what is it? That's Dumbo. Yeah. Oh, oh my again. God. You can do it, Dumbo. Show him. You've got Colin Farrell, who looks like he's doing a wonderful performance. You've got Michael Keaton really playing into like the bad side that yeah. you can do so well. The director is Tim Burton. Tim Burton. But the thing is, is you want to talk about hit or miss. Roth, let's go around to you because uh, you wanted to talk about a movie. I've 
uh, that Quentin Tarantino's yes. next film, which I am very excited, super so excited, excited about. Excited. Yeah. So Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, it's following a stunt man, but set in the era of the Manson murders, right? Yes. Set in that time period. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if he's going to do a little revisionist history, the way that he did with Inglourious Glorious Bastards. Bastards. It's wish fulfillment, yes. right? Um, either way, I think it's a it's kind of a fascinating period of time to set the movie and just kind of capture the tone of LA and Hollywood. There's a very dangerous lizard making its way back into the theaters, uh, Godzilla. <laughs> Monsters, uh, Roth, what, what can you tell me? And uh, How? Yeah. Have you seen the trailer? Which of these titans are here to protect us? And which of these titans are here to threaten us? This is everything that you could want in a movie. It's giant monsters beating the crap out of mm -hmm. each other. I could say things like, oh, it's the director of Krampus, which was actually pretty good. Does not matter. Mm -hmm. I want you to hear what I'm telling you. This is Godzilla we heard going you. up against his OG enemy. Mothra, Rodan, those Rodan. are classics. He's a bit King Gitter is getting in the mix. Um, let's rapid fire some movies that um, we haven't mentioned yet. Uh, so just, yeah, first thing that pops into your mind when I mention this movie. Uh, Charlie's Angels. I'm pumped. I love it. You gotta listen anyway, to the tanks, directing. Right. Are you guys excited? Are you picking up the clues uh, left by Detective Pikachu? Oh, <laughs> doesn't that look shockingly entertaining. It looks so it good. Does. It looks so good. <laughs> Pika, 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 he's adorable. You're adorable. You guys, shut your mouth, because I'm talking about Shaft. Uh, yeah. Samuel L. Jackson is back with Shaft. Again. Yes. No, I don't need it. Okay, okay, we're not talking about Shaft. Um, can we get more box office gold out of Jumanji? Jumanji yeah, I, actually, oh, that. I really rock. liked mm -hmm. Jumanji. I really, really did. I thought uh -huh. it was a very Welcome fun... Welcome to the Jungle, the second one, right? Yeah, yeah. I thought it was a fun movie, so I, I hope they can recapture that. Yeah, that was real. That was a pleasant surprise. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Also in 2019, here come the men in black, but one of them is not a man. If you could all just look right here. Just try. This is the sexiest yeah. men in black I think yeah. we'll ever get. Hemsworth, yeah. Thompson. Tessa Thompson, I'm gonna start a new religion and she will be our God. Oh, yeah. she does no wrong. She's so, yeah. so incredible. Great I love Free her too. so much. She was great in Annihilation. Yeah, I can't believe we're getting another one of these already. Terminator 6. Okay, let's discuss. Yeah. Because this is very important to us. I love the Terminator, Hal, yeah. so much. Like, this is my franchise. I love, and by that I mean one, two in the TV series, Terminator Sarah Connor. Yeah. Yes. Which I can't recommend enough. Please go check that out. Mm -hmm. But I have to say, the return of my Sarah Connor, as much as I loved Lena Headey in that, sh in that show, mm -hmm. has me cautiously optimistic because I've been burned before. Yes, yes, you have. We talked about some of the big tentpole comic book movies coming out. Another one's coming out. Uh, we're gonna revisit Hellboy with yeah. uh, David Harbour. Um, are you serious? Could be interesting. I think yeah. David Harbour's a great actor. Yeah. I, I feel like it's a little bit sacrilegious to take it over from the original, like Guillermo del Toro, yeah. Ron Perlman mm -hmm. team up, but We'll see. Sasha, yes. um, you got excited about John Wick. I know it's going to get you uh, almost equally pumped when I mention Hobbs and Shaw. I can't, you guys. The Fast and Furious franchise is brilliant. It is beautiful <laughs> and it needs to be respected. And now we have a spinoff, our first spinoff. We are getting a Rock, Jason Statham, Helen Mirren spinoff yes. that is going to be so off the charts and as if you needed more incentive, as if you needed another reason. Wait. It's got Idris Elba in it. This is probably an unanswerable question, but what is the movie in 2019 that you are the most excited about? I will say that it is a tie between Hobbs and Shaw and John Wick 3. Oh, hell yeah. Spider-Man Far From Home. Spider-Man. Yeah, I, I loved Homecoming. I love Spider-Man. Yeah, me yeah. too, me too. Um, I huh? probably have the most curiosity about Endgame, um, but I want to see Godzilla beat the crap <laughs> out of other <laughs> monsters and so do you. Yeah, oh yeah, I mean, I, I, I gotta agree with you, Endgame, and then another movie that you were talking about, uh, Once, Once Upon, Upon a Time in Hollywood. Hollywood. I mean, yeah. just that dark subject matter, Tarantino, the cast, uh, I am geeked for that. Uh, I didn't think it was possible, but you guys got me extra excited for 2019. What movies are you most excited about? What movies are you kind of like, mm, I'm on the fence? Let us know in the comments section below. We want to know. Again, I got to thank this awesome panel of folks. Sasha Pearl Rayer, always great to have you. Scott Mance, uh, thank you son. for bringing it. <clears throat> and Roth, thank you for dropping so much knowledge. And I want to thank you for watching Screen Junkies. I'm Hal Rudnick. Hit me up on Twitter. Bye-bye. <laughs>